Welcome back. Let's get a quick overview to union find algorithm for disjoint set, which is used to detect cycle in an undirected graph. This works for disjoint set data structure. We partition the set of elements or a set of edges into a number of disjoint subsets. And then we perform two operations, find and union. First is find where we determine in which subset the element is present. Basically, we find the parent of the vertex. The idea is to check if two vertices are in the same subset or not. If they are in the same subset, that means a cycle is detected. So we take the edge and look for the parent of both the vertices of the edge. If they are belonging from the same subset, which means if parent of the both vertex are same, that means that edge is creating a cycle. Like here, 0, 2 edge is creating this cycle because parent of both the 0 and 2 is 0. Now second operation is union. If the elements are not in the same subset, we join them by taking union. Like here, element 2 and 3 belongs to the different subsets. So we take union by making one of these vertices as parent of the other vertex. Let's get into the details. In this graph, we first consider each vertex in the different subsets. And start processing all the edges one by one. To keep track of all the subsets, we take an array. Basically, we'll store the parent vertex for each vertex in this array. And initially, we take vertex itself as its parent, indicating there is only one item in the subset. Now, first is 0, 1. Find the subsets in which 0 and 1 are. Since they are in different subset, we can include this edge. So we join these vertices by taking union. For taking union, we make either 0 as parent of 1 or vice versa. So here we make the destination vertex as the parent. So 1 will be the parent for this element 0. And update this array. For 0, it will hold 1 as the parent, which means 0 belongs to the subset 1. Now next is 1, 2. We check in which subsets these vertices are. Both are in different, so we take union and make 2 as parent of 1. And we have updated the array as well. 1 will belong to the subset 2 now. Then comes 0, 2, 0 is in the subset 1 and 1 is in subset 2. So 0 belongs to 2 and 1 belongs to 2 as well. So this edge won't get included. Next is 2, 3. 2 and 3 are in different subset. So we do union and update the array. So at last we get these edges including which cycle won't get created. But you can see the tree created here is queued. To find subset for any vertex, it needs to traverse all the vertices in the worst case. So these approaches of find and union are naive whose time complexity is linear. This can be optimized to order of log n or even smaller than that by path compression and union by rank technique. Let's go through these optimizations as well as we actually gonna use them in Krishkal's algorithm. Now in union by rank, what we do, we provide a rank to each vertex whenever we add any vertex as child node to it. Initially, rank will be 0 for every vertex. When we process edge 0, 1, 0 gets added below 1. 
So here rank of 1 will get increased with 1. That shows that it's having one level below it. Now the idea is to attach smaller depth subtree under the root of deeper tree. So at every union we compare the ranks and attach smaller rank part under higher ranked vertex. So this will make the tree something like this. Vertex 2 and 3 will get attached to the vertex 1. Now path compression. Path compression is about flattening the tree whenever we go to find any element. Like in this example, when we figure out that 2 is the root of 0, then what we will do, we will make this root as parent for the vertex. So 2 will be the direct parent for the vertex 0. So that we don't need to traverse all the intermediate nodes again. Like whenever we look for the element 0 next, we don't need to traverse the intermediate nodes 2 and 1 again. So this is to compress the path. Now let's look at the shooter code for implementation of find and union. In naive approach, we recursively find parent of element until we get to the root element. And with path compression, we recursively find the parent until we get to the root and assign that vertex as the direct parent of the element and then return its parent. Next is union. Union to unite two vertex, right? So we set one of them as parent of the other vertex. So this is the naive approach we get parent of source and destination and unite them. Now union by rank. Here we compare the ranks of x and y. If rank of x is smaller than y's then we set y as parent of x and if the rank of y is smaller than x then we set x as the parent of y. Else if both the ranks are equal then we just set y as the parent of x and increment its rank. So the idea is to put smaller rank subtree under the bigger one. So this is how find and union works. We will use union by rank and path compression based implementation to detect cycle in graph in order to construct the MST by Krishkal's algorithm. So let's do that from the next lecture. Let's implement the logic in the code.